All right, guys, unless you're in an organic chemistry course, you probably don't need to know the mechanism for forming esters. But let's talk about it because there are some organic chemists out there. So what we've got here is a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Those are the ingredients to make an ester. And I've got my H+. Now the mechanism is a little bit different in acid and base. I'm going to do the acid one here, make you another video for the base one, all right? Now, the first thing that's going to happen is that the lone pairs on this carbonyl oxygen are going to be attracted to the excess protons in solution, H's on H3O pluses, or whatever. That's going to give you a carbonyl carbon with a hydrogen on it. You've still got your OH, and you've still got your alcohol waiting patiently. Now, the difference is this oxygen has three bonds to it. So it is a formal charge of plus one. This activates the carbonyl group and makes it even more susceptible to nucleophilic attack. If only we had an electronegative atom to attack it. Oh, we do. And it's here from the alcohol. It will attack the delta plus carbonyl carbon and push electrons from the pi bond onto the oxygen itself what you end up with is an OH group here. Again, it used to be the carbonyl oxygen and a hydrogen attached to it, but now the pi bond electrons are lone electrons on the oxygen. And you've got a bond to the alcohol, like that. Now, this oxygen has three bonds we still have a total formal charge of plus one. We haven't violated any rules. And now we've combined the two. Two became one. Anyways, then we get a proton transfer. This hydrogen ends up going on to this oxygen. Now that could be assisted by the solvent. Sometimes teachers just say, oh, it just jumps over or whatever. But long story short, there's a proton transfer. You end up with an extra hydrogen on that oxygen. You still have your OH group here. And you now only have two bonds to this oxygen, because again, the hydrogen's gone. Those electrons from the bond between the two went to the oxygen themselves. Now, this oxygen has three bonds. It's the one with the formal charge of plus one, and it is just a stellar leaving group, let me tell you. So stellar is this leaving group that the electrons on the other oxygen are willing to make a pi bond as long as that OH2 leaves. Now, notice we're losing a water. We're losing an H2O here and we're recreating our carbonyl oxygen, which unfortunately still has his, uh, his ball and chain hanging here, the hydrogen. And the only other bond to the carbonyl carbon is to this oxygen here. Now that's starting to look like an ester, would you agree? Then all you need to do is remove the H. That's probably also solvent assisted. I don't know, water becoming H3O plus. Long story short, we're regurgitating the H back out because we put it in at the beginning. That's the definition of catalyst. And what you end up with is the carbonyl carbon and the car or, yeah, the carbonyl group, and that carbonyl carbon is connected to the oxygen and everything else that was on the alcohol. So look, we've made it from carboxylic acid and alcohol all the way to ester. And the H plus was nothing but a catalyst. Let's recap. Protonate the carbonyl oxygen. Nucleophilic attack of the alcohol. Proton transfer from the alcohol to the OH group. The OH group, which is now OH2, leaves as water and then remove the H+, which was really only there to activate the carbonyl group to, be resolved, uh, to result with your ester here. One thing I want to point out is that 
it's this oxygen here that does the attack and is attached here, is attached here, and is attached here. The oxygen in an ester came from the alcohol. It didn't, it's not this oxygen. This oxygen itself is gone. It left as water. We know this from doing isotope studies. I think they made this one oxygen 16 and this one was oxygen 18 and they found that it was entirely oxygen 18 here. All these oxygens came from the alcohols. Just pointing that out. And that's your esterification mechanism. What up? Enjoy life and go make some esters.